Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15. Dear Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, dear parents, teachers, and children, may I wish you a fruitful and useful catechetical Sunday. This year, the year of COVID-19, we are observing this catechetical Sunday today, 20th of September, throughout USA. Bishops, priests, religious men and women, parents, teachers, and children are ministers of catechism or faith formation. All of us impart faith to the community in which we live, family, parish, religious house, schools, workplace, that is, every field or area of our presence. All of us have experienced many joyful and rewarding moments in our faith life. Also, there will be many disappointing and frustrating times. There we have to remember the words of St. Paul, stand firm and hold fast to the values we have been taught and told. Be strong in our faith life. Pope Francis reminds us, let us all remember this. One cannot proclaim gospel of Jesus without the tangible witness of one's life. Those who listen to us and observe us must be able to, be, to see in our actions what they hear from our lips, and so give glory to God. I am thinking now of some advice that St. Francis of Assisi gave his brothers, preach the gospel, and if necessary, use words. Very touching words of the Holy Father, and also the quote from St. Francis of Assisi, very meaningful. Preach the gospel and use the words if necessary. That means our life has to reflect what we preach or teach. Let our life be a lesson for our people. Dear friends, the sources of our faith are twofold, divine traditions and written word of God. The Constitution and Divine Revelation of the Second Vatican Council brings to our attention this sentence. Sacred tradition and sacred scripture make up a single sacred deposit of the word of God, which is entrusted to the church by adhering to it the entire holy people, united to its pastors, remains always faithful to the teaching of the apostles, to the brotherhood, to the breaking of bread, and the prayers. In other words, here we see the nature of the early Christian community, the model of our church. Practicing the four elements mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 42. Apostolic preaching or teaching, prayer, breaking of the bread, communal sharing. These are four basic elements nourished by every community. Each family, each religious community, and each parish 
is invited to translate this model into daily living. This is the life expected of all of us. Father Peter Daly, a famous pastor, said in a meeting regarding his sermon, Could I love Jesus and I love my people. My goal in his sermon is to introduce the two of them to each other. This is what is taking place in all our areas of sharing of our faith. This is faith formation. This is evangelization. This is missionary work. All of us, bishops, priests, religious men and women, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, teachers and students, and all children are instruments or agents of faith formation. On this day of Categorical Sunday, let us pray for effective sharing of our faith to children and young adults. Liturgical celebrations and faith formation are the two wings through which we fly to the Lord and find him and have his company to enjoy our life. Round fathers and round sisters, faith formation of our coming generation is of prime importance for all of us. Our presence in catechism classes and occasional visits to the student's body are really helpful to know the children and their family background. Please give priority to the formation of our children in our values and practices. And let us earnestly, fervently pray for our children. Dear parents, you are the first and the best teachers of faith. Remember the words of Pope Francis regarding our way of behavior at home. There is an old saying, religion is caught rather than taught. See, our little ones, even when they are so little, look up to the face of ma'am or dad and see what we say or what we do and they just translate or imitate our words, our actions. There's a tremendous influence of our behavior on our children. So that's why it is said Religion is caught rather than taught. Yes. If you look back to our own life, we always looked up to our parents, especially in time of prayer, evening prayer at home, or when we were with our parents in the church, whatever they did, we also imitated. Making the sign of the cross, or saying the prayers, Our Father, or Hail Mary. All this we have learned from our parents. So the example set by the parents is of prime importance for our children. Let us be aware of the presence of the children in our family, and let us behave at home befitting our children. Family prayer is a continuation of our Sunday Holy Kurbana at the church. Join with the children in prayer at home. See, when I visit some of the families sometimes, you know, the parents will ask the children, it is time for them to go to bed. I have heard some parents say to the children, children, it is time to bed. Now you go to your room and say your prayers and be and be 
had in the bed. And many, most of the places when I visit, I also join with the prayer at the family if I'm there. Then of course, some, the other parents will say, come on, let's have a short prayer before you go to bed. And then of course, children come and the parents are there and they, we all together pray. And then of course, they are sent to their bedroom. There's a vast difference between the two. And so let us set a good example of doing things, celebrating our worship and sharing our faith among our children. Signs and symbols of our faith kept at our home are of great importance. Daily reading and what means reflection of the very word of God are very important. Let us listen to Jesus as we read or listen from the Bible. Dear teachers, you are the role models to our children. Teachers have wonderful influence in the life of children or students. Of course, all of our teachers take time to pray for the students or children. Yes, we have to. And then, then we are with the children at the Sunday school program, faith formation program. Our ways of talking and acting are influential among our children. So, my dear teachers, I'm really grateful to you as you volunteer to serve our church, to serve our parish or mission, to serve and help our children to be after the model of the after the model of Jesus our Lord. And you are doing the ministry of the bishops, teaching ministry in a very special way. And so we are grateful to you and I appreciate very much the hard work all of you are doing in every parish or mission of our diocese. Once Archbishop Fulton Jesheen, now he's in the position of Venerable, and another great speaker, Richard Burton, were invited for a party. Both of them were there. At the end of the supper or dinner, of course, the host just made a remark or invited them to have a short reflection. And he presented them with the Bible, and opening the Bible, he presented Psalm 23, the Psalm of the Good Shepherd. Yes, one is Richard Burton, a famous speaker, orator, and the other is Archbishop Fulton Sheen. First, the great speaker read the psalm with very unction, with all formality. And then at the end of the end of his reading, those who were around gave him a big applause, great appreciation. And then of course the same text was given to Archbishop Fulton Sheen. He took the Bible and he went through the text with the due reflection and the spirit of prayer. As he completed the recitation of Psalm 23, there was a spellbound silence. It was almost a prayer. Then the host made the remark, Yes, great speaker, know the psalm. And the great pastor, Bishop Sheen, knows the shepherd. See, that's the difference. The shepherd 
who takes care of us. And let us belong to the Spirit and try to translate the message of the Spirit into our own life, thereby to follow him every day of our life. On this day of Catechetical Sunday, it is my joy again to greet each and every one of you in all our parishes and missions and wish you all the best, especially at this period of COVID-19. In a very unusual way, we are observing this Catechetical Sunday. Online or virtual classes are going on and teachers are spending time to reach out to everyone and parents are taking the pain to help our children and so my special regards and greetings to the parents, to the priests, religious sisters and all the teachers and all the children who are involved in the faith formation program of our diocese this year. And also I'm really grateful to our faith formation or catechetical department director, Brown Father George Danvelin, and the team behind him working to make our CC program a grand success. Let us invoke the blessing of the Lord through the very special intercession of our Blessed Mother, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, the patron of the Holy Family, and also Saint Thomas, our Father in Faith, and all the saints of, the, of our own church and of the whole church. Once again, may the Lord bless each and every one of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.